Its lesson 113 is on adding and subtracting mixed measures and multiplying by powers of 10. So here I have the hike from the trailhead to the waterfall took 1 hour and 50 minutes. The return trip took 1 hour and 40 minutes. All together, how many hours and minutes long was the hike? So I'm going to add together these two amounts to figure out how long the trip actually took. Now in this case, we need to remember that 60 minutes equals one hour. So when I add my minutes together, if I get more than 60 minutes, I'll need to convert it to into hours. Okay? So let's add it up. 50 plus 40 is 90 minutes. That is a lot more than 60. So to figure out what I have left, I'm going to subtract 60 minutes from my 90 and I end up with 30 minutes left. That 60 minutes that I took away, I'm going to move it up to the hour spot. I'm going to add another hour. So I end up with 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So I end up with 3 hours and 30 minutes. Here I have, to measure his vertical leap, Tyrone first reaches as high as he can against the wall. He reaches 6 feet 9 inches. Then he puts chalk on his fingertips, and jumping as high as he can, he slaps the wall. The top of the chalk mark is 8 feet 7 inches. How high off the ground did Tyrone leap? So I want to figure out how high he actually jumped, so I'm going to take the 8 feet 7 inches and subtract the 6 feet 9 inches that he could reach without jumping. In this case, I need to borrow, so I'm going to borrow 1 from the 8, 8 becomes a 7. Now I need to add 12 inches to the 7 inches I already have, because 1 foot equals 12 inches. So 7 inches plus 12 inches is equal to 19 inches. So I'm left with 7 feet 19 inches. 19 minus 9 is 10, so 10 inches, and 7 minus 6 is 1. So he could jump 1 foot 10 inches high. Now we have uh, powers multiplying by powers of 10. So we want to write 6.2 times 10 to the second power in standard notation. Remember, standard notation just means in a regular number. Now in multiplying by powers, I know that if I look at my, the power given, that's how many times I need to move my decimal place. So in this case I have a 2, so I need to move the decimal place 2 times. So I have 6.2, I'm going to move that decimal to place 2 times. 1, 2, and add my 0. So my answer is 620. In this problem it asks us to write half a billion in standard notation. So. I know that half a billion is 0.5 times by 1 billion. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Or I could say it's 0.5 times by 1 times by 1 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right. 1 to the ninth power. Okay, or sorry, 10 to the ninth power, excuse me. So 10 to the ninth power. So in this case it tells me how many places I need to move it. So it's going to be 0.5 and I need to move it nine places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fill in my zeros. And fill in my commas. 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. I end up with 50 million, by 500 million. Okay. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.